In this video we will demonstrate how you can size a power factor correction unit, and also how to create the power factor correction panel. First, insert the power factor correction unit. Then, based on the calculated size required for the correction, specify the user-defined size of the power factor correction unit. This will enable you to size the conductor and the protective devices, based on the actual size of the correction factor used. From the Power Factor Correction tab, you can check all the calculations with, or without, the Power Factor Correction unit. To create the Power Factor Correction panel, check the Use checkbox. Then, to add capacitor banks, press the Add Capacitor Bank button. For each capacitor bank, you can specify the size and protective device. Repeat the process to add the required capacitor banks for the steps used in the Power Factor Correction Unit. You can also add spares if required. After adding the last capacitor bank, make sure the total size matches the defined size of the power factor correction unit. You can also specify the Incoma of the panel by clicking on Incoma device. To see the result of the power factor panel and print it, apply the changes and press the print panel button. You can also insert the power factor correction panel in your electrical schematics by using the drawing mode function. You can then modify the power factor panel using the CAD functionalities. Thank you for watching.